Yeah. Yeah. Got you in for an in-person interview. Well, interview. <laughs> I meant podcast episode. Yeah. Finally, after what almost a month? <laughs> Weeks. Almost Weeks. a month, basically. <laughs> Uh, but it's good that you're here, and then last time you were supposed to come down, you felt sick. No, you were supposed to come down one time, and you were hungover. Then... I got sick. You got sick the following week. Then, after that... Just visiting family. Visiting yes. family, family, and then you lost track of time, which is understandable. And then... But I'm here now. Um, let's, uh, before we go into it, we're going to talk about Paraflix. If you're a fan of the paranormal... Well, go check out Paraflix, the universal home of the paranormal. For $3.99 a month or $34.99 a year after a three-day free trial, you can even gift it. Apple TV, Roku, Fire TV, Chromecast, iPhone, iPad, Android, even watch it on your computer. Subscribe, and you will not regret it. You'll instantly be hooked. I am a subscriber, as well as Eddie. Our cousin is a subscriber. Eddie's a subscriber. He's a subscriber, yeah. That's, that's, that's tight. Okay. Um, so, uh, so, so is uh, my brother. It's, uh, we're just showing Paraflix love, and you know what? You guys go check it out. You won't regret it. And let's just dive right into this episode. So, how was work? It's been keeping me busy, man. I'll be honest. It should get home knockout. That's why it's been kind of hard, even <laughs> even getting something through uh through Zoom or you know virtual you, meetings. You know, it's it, yeah. it's, un it's understandable, especially with what you do. Um, you have to go home, do paperwork. Then by the time you do that, you got to eat, shower, blah blah. Your mind's not thinking. Oh, podcast. Next thing you know, you're yeah. Out. Your mind your yeah. mind's not thinking about anything else. But fuck, I want to sleep. And then you wake up and let's do it all so over again. Do it, yep. I don't know about shots, but we're both drinking water. So that is our shot for the day. Stay hydrated. H2O. Um, anything new happen in that creepy old house? Uh, <laughs> you know, what hasn't happened in that old house? You mean uh, the house I'm yeah. in San Jose, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Have we talked about anything? We, we've is... talked about your roommates experiencing the shadow man, That's and right. then someone looking through the peephole because it's an old keyhole. Yeah, and they saw someone because you guys heard walking, and yeah. that the bathroom is it like in the back of the kind yeah. of house. Uh, um, other than that, I haven't heard anything else. I I do got a couple other ones. Some of them a little bit easier to explain. Some not as much. Uh, so I remember once being in the kitchen and so and it wasn't just me it's one of those times like similar to like that thing where I, where I told you I saw something at the beach yeah and it was I thought it was you know in my head and then coming to find out Vanessa saw it too same same scenario I'm basically sitting down just like this we have like a little island table thing in the middle of the kitchen um, my housemates are sitting there right in front of me yeah and we're chilling and then we look next to us, so like, you got the front of the house, you walk in and there's like the living room, kind of goes into the kitchen, and then from the kitchen there's one more room, door you kind of pass through, and it's like the laundry room, and that's where that last bathroom's at. Yeah. So we're in the kitchen, and we're like towards, closer towards the back door to get into the laundry room, and we're chilling, and normally something like this is... You ever been like see your door move here, but then you're like, okay, it's like windy or something, and it could be air passing through. A, cu a couple you know of times I mean? we talked about it in the last episode over there at my mom's, the mm -hmm. front door. It's like, oh, we tried to debunk it, but yeah, sometimes it's unexplainable. We was like, no. Right, right. So this that's same thing with us. Uh -huh. We had that where the wind can just or the air can just pass through and cause your door to move and stuff. Yeah. All the windows were closed. The front door is not open. Yeah. It's not like it has to be some hard wind or something and then on top of that we would know because we're in there we can feel it but we're looking and we just turn this way and we just look at the door and the door starts like like moving moving and i was just like what the fuck, fuck no. and my housemate just like yo you seeing this shit and we're like <laughs> looking at each other like you yeah. seeing this shit and the door's going like this and it was really weird because it's like it's it's standing then and is it a heavy door or is yeah, it like a light door? Yeah, it's one of those like backyard ones, so it's like like heavy oh, and thick. Okay. It even has a glass window in the oh, middle. Oh, it's the old school one. So the okay. old school, so it's like it starts doing this, like moving good yeah. enough. And I'm just like, uh, what's going on? And then, yeah. and then it just stops. And we're just there, <laughs> like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, like you know. So 
There was that. I'm, I'm sure that I've mentioned it to you where I f something bumped me while I was in my room. I don't recall, but you could always talk about it. All right, so this was uh, when I was still in going to, going to school. There was about, I think it was five of us that lived in the house. So mm -hmm. I was in my room at the time. We had two guys in the kitchen, two guys in the living room. Okay. Two guys in the living room watching TV. One guy was cooking and one guy was kind of kind of studying, working on homework right before class. And Quick it's question. Like, yeah. What were they cooking? <laughs> That's a good... I asked, I asked Papa the same question because he said about... Is, um, did you get to the part in the last episode that... About his car toy or whatever, his truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just moving or doing some <laughs> no, shit on his Did own? you hear the part where I said, oh, what kind of sandwich was it? Yeah. It was so, like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> no, no, no. So th this guy was probably, I think it was like some weird vegetable shit with like uh -huh. bell peppers and like ground beef. Uh -huh. Like, you know, when you just throw bell peppers mm. and throw some meat in it. I think he was doing that. Yeah. Mm. At the time, I was a little skinnier. Yeah. But I was weighing a good 250. Uh-huh. You know, that's pretty heavy. On a bed that had a, uh, it just it was just like, those, I think I got it on Amazon. It was like a steel frame bed, but it had like six feet. Uh, it was just like a little, it was like a little tripod foot like that. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. so like if the bed moves, like, you know, like you know something heavy's got to push it. Yeah. Especially if my ass is on the bed. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm sitting laying like belly down on the bed, and I kid you not, like, it fucking moved. Uh -huh. Like somebody moved it. You didn't by any chance try to debunk it. Like, okay, let me sit on the bed again and maybe see if it moves. This is one of those, you know, situations where you don't. Your first thought isn't to debunk it because <laughs> something is wrong. Okay. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah, you're scared. It, yeah. Yeah. So this is normally if it's something that you know, like oh, what the fuck could that have been? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. No, this was one of those times where it's just like. Your first instinct is that anything that moved it is already wrong. So <laughs> so you're more just freaked out by it. So I'm like I said, I'm laying in my bed and something moves it. And it moves it to the point where I had to straighten out my bed after everything was said yeah. and done. Like it was if if it's sitting like this up against the wall, uh -huh. my bed was like that afterwards. So if it was facing horizontal, I don't so, know where it went. So if this is if, so if this is the wall actually went the so my door is right here. So I'm laying kind of like this, and it hits it, like and it goes like that, huh? Like out. And out. what which side did you get on the bed? Like I'm laying like this, so I'm like like my head's facing the doorway. Uh huh. So I'm laying like that, and I'm like I'm in it, and it hits it, or so something. Something moves it. So you're laying down. And I'm laying and I'm oh. laying on the bed as uh -huh. it happens, dude. And I was oh, like, no, okay, dude. I was like, what the fuck, <laughs> like. I, I'll be honest with you. So I don't. I didn't even get up to check under my bed. I got up. My door was closed too, so nobody was in it, and I'm facing my door. Yeah. So I know nobody's in there, and I saw everyone in the house. Yeah. So I get up, and I walk into the kitchen, and I sit down at the table with the other guys. Yeah. And two of the guys in the living room they just looking at me like they saw me, but they didn't see me. Yeah. They're watching TV. Dude's cooking, mm. and then the other guy on his laptop writing his shit. And he looks up. He looks at me. He's like what's wrong with you why are you so white uh. didn't answer him I was just like I need a moment I need a moment <laughs> like, I'm... and then I was like dude something moved me in my bed uh -huh. and he was like what the fuck are you talking about and I was like something fucking moved me while I'm laying on my bed uh -huh. and he's just looking at me like don't you're that's fucking stupid like you're being yeah. weird and I looked at him and I told him again I don't think you understand what I'm telling you I'm laying on my fucking bed <laughs> and something moved my and bed and something moved me like if you're laying on your bed and I move you on your bed, you will see me move you because your bed's heavy and you're heavy. Yeah. You're just dead weight on the bed. Now, you weigh 100 and what? 30, 40? Uh -huh. I weigh 250 fucking pounds yeah. plus whatever is on my bed currently. Yeah. Like, do you realize how fucking good push you have to do to get that shit to move? Yeah. In my head, I didn't know how much my bed moved. I just know it, like, bumped. Yeah. But I went, like, I calmed down for a second and I went back in and checked it. And I saw how much it moved. Yeah. So, like, my, after that, my thought was, like, all right, let me debunk this. Like, what could it have been? Because it's one of those ones with those individual legs. It was six legs. So it was two yeah. little hands and then one in the middle. But the thing is, it was, it's, it was, like, two half pieces. So, it was yeah. rather than be cut long ways or, or short ways, it was cut long ways. Yeah. 
so normally sometimes if like I say if you move it or whatever let's say like you kind of just drag it right yeah and you move it some legs will be like a little bit like that or whatever that one was my thing if I'm laying yeah. on it maybe a bed is like move the the leg and one moved. of the legs finally gave and, out and one, of, and one of it gave out and just moved how it's supposed to yeah. be right I was like cool that makes sense but then like it would for how it hit and how I felt it so in my head I'm thinking one the little individual movement like that mm -hmm. it's gonna give but it's not gonna move the whole bed mm -hmm. I definitely felt like the whole bed moved two uh -huh. it's like um I don't know dude I feel like you you can tell the difference between if you if an individual leg moves uh -huh. and then versus like something hitting the bed and actually feeling like something hit you and made you move and that's why in my head like that doesn't make sense and that's when I actually went to look at the bed and see how it was and saw how far off of the wall it was. I had to actually push it and move it back into place like up against the wall. Uh -huh. So I was like, it could be that, but I don't think it is. And it's very unlikely because it was off of the wall. Yeah. So I'm like looking around like, what else could it have been? I, To this day, I, don't, I can't fucking explain what it was. Huh. Don't know. Don't know what it might have been. So I had to get up out of the house. I had to go, went to go grab myself a bubble drink and eventually just threw it out of my mind and never went back to it. I, have, I don't remember if we talked about it, but have you done your research on that place? Ah, we, you, you have told me about it, but I haven't. I haven't checked anything about that place. Uh -huh. I know it used to be, I think it used to be like... I, I, it looks like it used to be a mansion from back in the day. It's, it, was, it was definitely in one of those old Victorian houses or yeah. something. And I know there's like a little... Like a little laundry, there's a little laundry chute that's sealed up now, and you can see like, it's kind of like you'd put it in there. Mm -hmm. Like you've seen Stuart Little, how they have yeah. that little shit. And it just yeah, and it goes, goes down all the way to the So basement. they have that. On the top, it's sealed off because it's in the kitchen Yeah. now. Uh, and then on the bottom, where we, for our basement side, you can see where it would have gone to, uh -huh. and you can tell that they've definitely boarded it up. Uh -huh. um, the room that my... And um, so actually, it's, it's not accessible anymore. It's not accessible. So you can tell... Oh, okay, so here's the other thing. Uh -huh. The room where my housemate now is staying in, yeah. it's, it's, it's the same one he's been in, but he's one of the... I think he's the only other guy left in the house from the original five of us that moved in. Yeah. So it's just be me, me and him. Uh, he's he has the room that I think was the nanny room because uh -huh. so how they would work is those old houses they'd have the baby room yeah. and the nanny room would literally be right next, next to, to it yeah. so that they can have access to the baby yeah. right and right in between oh, your TV, <laughs> right in between the nanny room and the baby room or whatever is that is a bathroom yeah. so how the house actually goes is if you walk in next to it or you can see you can see it from the front mm -hmm. but it's like an office room it's a big ass room I guess you could use it like an office then you go into the living room, and then you'll see the living room there. Mm -hmm. If you keep going straight, you go into the nanny room, kind of to the mm, top left. Uh, top left that goes into the kitchen, and then directly left would be my bedroom, and right up the very front left would be that uh, yeah. office room. Yeah. So keep going into the nanny room. That's where my housemate is staying right now. Keep going straight. There's a small bathroom, and then straight again, it's linked to the other uh, the other room. Another where another person is sleeping. Or another person is sleeping. But there's still five of you, right? There's three of us now. Three. Oh, okay. Yeah. So go into the kitchen. Um, you have the kitchen. You'd go straight, and it's that laundry room, and then go right, and there would be a bathroom. Or you can be in the kitchen, and right before you go into that laundry room, there's also another way entry way into that last bedroom. Okay. So that last bedroom and the lo and the bathroom were kind of right next to each other. Uh -huh. Anyways, um, so anyone, all right. So 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 you know, my housemate, he's uh, he likes to go out and party. He likes to go out and meet <laughs> meet people. Everyone that he's ever brought to the house, including some of our friends, when we just kind of chilling and we're getting ready to go out, we go yeah. and, like bug him in his room. Everyone that's ever been in the house has always said the same thing. I don't know what it is about this room, but this room's kind of gives me bad vibes. Even the nanny are, room. The nanny room. Even people that are just like in there, like something about this room a little weird. Mm -hmm. You know, even they, even though they mention it in passing, some people have been a little bit more serious. Like, yeah. I don't like this room, but it gives me an uneasy feeling. Yeah. And then some of our friends are like, hey, it's a little weird, you know, uh -huh. shit like that. And then, uh, and he would always say like, dude, sometimes I'll like be sleeping mm -hmm. and I get nightmares. I get uneasy feelings and it's always when my closet door is open because I don't know what it is about my closet but sometimes I just wake up in the middle of the night 
and I have to get up and close the closet door because it just, I don't know, it just gets, yeah. gets really, and this is him, he's lived in the, we've already lived in that house maybe, maybe like going on six years. Yeah. And um, I think I told you that once he actually woke up in the middle of the night, just fucking terrified screaming. I don't so, remember that one. So I was playing FIFA with uh, one of my other housemates who was still living there at the time. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, like, this guy was asleep or we had gone to sleep. Yeah. We just hear him screaming. Yeah. Ah, Rogelio, Isaac, what, 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 uh, guys. And uh, we're just like, what the fuck? And we like pause the game like, what's up, dude? Are you all right? He goes, you can hear him. You, he probably thought nothing because he's probably still asleep. Yeah. Or like sleepy-ish. Yeah. But like you could hear him like breathing heavy. Yeah. Like he's like, N yeah, he, yeah. And then he's like kind of coming to or actually senses. waking up. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, yeah, my bad guys. Uh, yeah, we're all good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about oh. it. And he goes back to sleep and we're just like. I would have walked in still like, what the fuck? Yeah, like they were like, what the fuck was that? Uh -huh. Um didn't uh, didn't ask him anything about it. Then later, a little later on, he told me like, "Yo, can I tell you? Can I be honest? with you and tell you something?" Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's up, dude? He goes, "Remember that night where I just like I was at there were a couple. Uh, I think I I was calling out for you guys or whatever." He's like, "Yeah, you were screaming like a fucking crazy ass and uh, screaming our names out because I don't know what the fuck." He goes, "Dude, I was having a nightmare uh -huh. and I looked at my closet door and it was open." Uh -huh. And I was like, "Okay." He goes. I don't remember opening it. I just remember it being closed. Mm. And I woke up, and every time I have nightmares, it's when it's open. But I don't remember opening it. Mm. And I was like, well, what'd you do after? He's like, I fucking closed it, and I, it was felt uneasy. Mm. And I just kind of laid there until I fell back asleep. Yeah. And I was like, that's fucking scary. Like, what were you dreaming? He goes, I was just having a weird-ass nightmare that something was, like, in the living room with you and Isaac. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, where were you guys? He goes, I was like, we're in the living room playing mm -hmm. video games. Yeah. He goes, well, in my nightmare, I was having shit where something was, like, there trying to get you. Yeah. And you and Isaac were in the living room. I don't know what you guys were doing, but I yeah. remember you guys were sitting, looking a certain way, and that thing was looking right over you and getting closer and closer. And I kept trying to well, warn. That's giving the goosies yeah, right there. Yeah, and I was like, he's like, I was trying to warn you guys and tell you, like, yo, something's there. You guys need to leave. And I think yeah. that's when I woke up. And I was like, what if, it, what if it wasn't a dream? What if he was actually having, like, uh, an out of body experience where he was able to see something and there was actually something behind you guys? Well, the, he made it sound like, well, because we were sitting right up against the wall. So I guess yeah. he was saying it was kind of like covering over and coming towards us. Yeah. And he said, that's what he said. He's like trying to warn us about something. Yeah. And then that's, you know, I was like, oh, that makes sense because you, you woke up and you were just fucking screaming. Yeah. Like, you, were, you weren't even like carrying, you were just like, ah. Guys, well, uh, uh, Helio Isaac, and we were confused. We were just like, "What the fuck is with this guy?" Yeah, you know. But but then ask any, anyone that's anyone that we've ever brought to the house or whatever. If they have, for some reason go into his room, and why like, does he still stay in that fucking room? Nigga, rent's expensive. <laughs> no, no, like as in just move into another room in the same place. Oh, someone always just gets the room beforehand. But there's only three of you. So. Oh, no, not not anymore. Oh, not so, anymore. Now there's back to five. No, not now there's still three. Uh -huh. Just recently, like the other guys moved out. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Um, so, yeah, so like, so it's one of those things. Plus, he's always, he's kind of used to it now. But like, yeah. every now and then he'll tell me he's just like, dude, I don't know what it was, but like, I can't go to sleep. Like something just creeps me the fuck you, out. You know what? I I feel I could be wrong, and I'm sure you've heard stuff where. Mm -hmm. Especially during the old, the Victorian house times, you know, it was like the early 1900s and they had those big ass mansions. Um, yeah, yeah, they had the nanny room, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I wouldn't doubt it. Of maybe, hopefully, you guys could, like, actually, when you have time, because I know you're tired, um, do like a little background check on who owned the property. See? We, we, we've actually talked about that uh -huh. so bef before you had even told me yeah we talked I told him I was like dude we should just find out what was here in the house because like aside from him having his shit yeah. even I've had my shit in the house yeah. where I fell asleep I've fallen asleep a couple times yeah like you ever been jolted awake yeah oh yeah yeah so like I felt that once but this one time was like it creeped me the fuck out like yeah I had, I had to turn on the lights and actually look around my room because yeah I don't know but like I fell asleep on my side uh, and then uh, this is kind of going along with a little bit because I saw that and it's the first thing I no, thought of right now. But uh, I fell asleep on my side and like put your hand like this. Uh -huh. So like, like put your hand right there. So that right. Uh -huh. 
And like you ever been like half asleep, half awake, and you're kind of slowly drifting in there? Yeah. I could have sworn. So the the weird thing that creeped me out is what I felt it didn't feel right, uh-huh. but it didn't feel like menacing either. It just uh-huh. kind of felt like it was there. But I feel that, and I just kind of feel something go like that. Hmm. You know. And, uh, so okay. Had, so, so basically, what he did because you guys couldn't see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my he told me to extend my hand out, and he gave it a little tug. Yeah, so I feel that, but I felt it. We it was really weird because it didn't feel like it was just on my wrist. It felt yeah. like it was kind of like grabbing me like that, but like it just kind of like jolted me. Yeah, and it woke me up because I was like, like when you get jolt sometimes. I think is what it is. Is they say it's you're like, that's kind of what the sleep paralysis is. Yeah. That's why remember I told you it like releases that shit. So yeah, you don't jolt and do shit in your sleep. Yeah. And I think sometimes you just your body just fucking reacts like that because yeah. you're not fully asleep. Yeah. But this time, like, I'm still kind of awake and I fucking felt something. Yeah. You know, I felt something on my wrist, mm. and I had to get up, and I was just like, I don't know, like, mm. it, it it scared me, dude. Like, I turned on my light, I like looked around my room, had to like fuck around with the TV a little bit just to relax. Yeah. And then eventually I went back to sleep. Mind you, fully fucking in my covers <laughs> and shit, so nothing else grabs me, but. Like, I've had shit like that happen to me. I've had weird fucking nightmares in the house. Like, every, not all the time, every now and then. Um, most recently was that. Yeah. And like I said, it didn't feel Wait, like... That, that was most recently? The tugging? The tug thing, yeah. That, oh, that, that, was, no. that was the most recent thing. So, you before that, it was nightmare I'm shit. getting a hotel room if I visit you. It was, a, uh, yeah, it was... Before that, it was like weird, weird fucking nightmares. Um, I've had... Actually, I did have one nightmare too myself where I woke up fucking screaming. Yeah. And like, I forgot. I, I, I wish I could remember more. Yeah. But I just remember that it was, I think it was a, a similar thing where I thought something was getting, trying to get my housemates. Yeah. And I remember like waking up screaming their names. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, and that shit shook me. And thankfully, it was at least closer to where I'm supposed to wake up. Yeah. But it was still like at fucking four in the morning. Yeah. So I was like, well, it's, I'm too shook to fucking sleep. By the time I am ready to sleep, it's probably gonna get ready, be ready to, you know, get up and start, go to work. Get up and go to work anyway. So I'll, yeah, that was a long ass day. Yeah. Um, but it's just been shit like that, like little uh-huh. things here and there, little things you wouldn't even really think about. Um, did I ever tell you about the fucking flashing lights when we we're spraying holy water? No. So there was an Indian dude that used to live with us. Uh, he actually wasn't coming from India so he would be like uh, I don't believe in shit like that we have real shit over here yeah. but I told him like you ever heard of like La Llorona La, uh, La, what is it, La Lechusa yeah fucking shit like that uh-huh. uh, we're explaining it to him and he's like trying to play off that he wasn't creeped out yeah and so we would just tell him more shit just to fuck around with them so one night I'm getting my shit uh, um, so we're have there everyone's I think in the living room yeah it was Isaac Emmanuel, Emmanuel is the one that still lives with me now in the house. Yeah. Uh, Isaac, Emmanuel, and the Indian dude's name was Nitin. Yeah. So all three of them were in the living room, including myself. Yeah. Then I'm just like, fuck, it's already like 9.30. I got to get my shit ready because I'm leaving to Bakersfield tomorrow. Yeah. Go in my room. I literally turn on my TV, throw mm-hmm. my fucking luggage in the bed, and I start throwing my shit in my luggage. And I hear these fuckers out in the living room, like, moving furniture. Oh. So the living room is all wood floor. Yeah. And the, the couch that we got, you can hear it, like, scratching all yeah. over the floor. I'm just like, what the fuck are these guys doing? Like, uh-huh. Just fucking around, like, always. And they're watching. I can hear them watching TV, and I have my TV going. Yeah. And I can hear, the, like, the TV stop for them. Yeah. And they're just like, Roger, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-huh. And I'm just like, what the fuck? So I pause my TV, like, what are you guys doing? Stop uh-huh. moving furniture. Uh-huh. And he was like, dude, stop moving your bed. Uh-huh. I was like, what? So I opened the door, like, what are you talking about? And he goes, dude, are you moving your furniture? If you could have told us, we would have helped you out. Like, you don't have to move it on your own. Uh-huh. I was like, what do you mean? You guys are the ones moving the furniture. And uh-huh. I look, but everything's in place. So I'm just like, well, what the fuck was that? Uh-huh. No, we have no idea what it was. So we're just <laughs> like, and then one of my, uh, Manuel was like, actually, you know what? Uh, have you? Uh, we haven't blessed the house or anything. Let's, let's bless the house. Uh-huh. And we're looking at Dean, and Dean's kind of like, kind of looking and I, look, and I look at Isaac and Isaac looks at me he's just like oh I think he's trying to fuck with Nadine and I was like alright well, I'm in it <laughs> no no I haven't blessed the house or anything 
And then my mom had given me a little vial of holy water because, yeah. you know, fuck jokes on them. Yeah. I bless wherever the fuck I go. Yeah, so it's, a, it's, a, it's, a it's a common it's thing a, to do. It's a, you know, when I, you I, move into a may, place. May, maybe it's a fucking Hispanic thing. I don't know what the fuck. All yeah. I know is that anytime I move anywhere, anytime mm-hmm. I'm staying anywhere, I have a little thing of holy water. You bless every, it. Every corner, say yeah. a little prayer. Yeah. Um, so I already did my room. First day I moved in, I did my room. <laughs> my bed wasn't set up. That was the first thing I did. I didn't yeah. move shit in my room before I did that. Yeah. Uh, so I blessed my... So I still had like a whole, a whole little vial left. Yeah. So I was like, here, I got actually holy water. So use this. And then so my mom gets it. And he started, we start at the beginning at the house. Going to Isaac's room. He says the thing. And then so I'm like looking at Isaac. I'm like, hey, okay, he's being a little serious. But I'm, you know, it's kind of funny. Because mm-hmm. I'm looking at Dean. And Dean's like... Is it real, guys? Like, shh, Nadine, just pray, okay? Just keep praying. <laughs> and I just like, kind of laugh, and I look at Isaac, he's like, he's laughing too, so we're going, we're going to go to my room, and I was like, nah, don't worry, I took care of my room when I moved in. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. So we go to the living room, does the thing in the living room, and Manuel's room, mm-hmm. and he starts doing shit, going, just kind of skip the bathroom. Yeah. And at the time, he used to live with us, now he, uh, until he got engaged and moved out with his girlfriend, yeah. but it was a uh, Rudy. So Rudy yeah. used to live with us. So we go into Rudy's room. They're like, okay, actually, he's visiting his girl this weekend. So let's just kind of go in and go out and tell him yeah. we're in there. You know, just give him a heads up. So we go into Rudy's room. And then Manuel starts throwing the holy water. Yeah. And the light, like, we turn on the lights. And the light starts, like, as, we're in there and it's uh-huh. fine. But he starts literally praying and throwing the holy water. Yeah. And as he starts doing that, the lights start just fucking yeah. vibrating, acting all weird. And we're, I was just like, that's that's fucking crazy guys why would yeah. you guys do that that's a little fucked up but I started kind of laughing because we so Nadine probably forgot and for the people that don't know our apartment or our, our place that we live in the lights have remote controls so we yeah. can actually control the, the speed of the fan <laughs> and control the lights yeah so as soon as the manos are throwing the holy water the lights are fucking up on and off, on and off. Like, it started going crazy. Yeah. And I'm just like, motherfucker, if you're playing with the remote, like, uh-huh. pretty pretty good. Uh, and I kind of start laughing. And I look at Isaac, and Isaac's kind of laughing. And his hands are kind of, like, you know, behind him. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, all right, dude, like, quit fucking around. You're like, let's, let's get out of here. Uh-huh. And, you know, jokes run its course. Mm-hmm. And then Isaac looks at me, and he's like, all right, stop. And I got confused. I was like, uh-huh. And I looked at him without saying anything because looking at Dean, Nadine's Nadine scared. He's like, <laughs> and I look at him, man. Even him, man. Like, but well, the thing is, I thought he was fucking around. I thought he was yeah. playing because he starts throwing the water and then the lights. The thing is, he thought around. it was you, and you thought it was him. Yeah. So no, him, man. Had the holy water. He's the one throwing it and praying. Yeah. He looks up and he just looks down and starts praying faster. Yeah. And louder. Yeah. And that's when I looked at Isaac and I was like, "All right, stop!" And he literally goes, "Stop!" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" Uh-huh. And then, and then uh, Isaac looks at me, he kind of like mouths it without saying, like, you don't have the remote? And I'm just like, what the fuck? Uh-huh. And I was like, where the fuck's the light switch? Like, of course uh-huh. I don't have the remote. Uh-huh. And, I look, and I look behind me, and the light switch is behind me, and right next to it is the fucking remote. Uh-huh. So I look up, and uh-huh. the lights are fucking uh-huh. flashing now. What room but, was that? That was Rudy's room. So they start flashing uh-huh. and doing shit. And I was just like, like I got creeped out. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Uh-huh. This shit's real? And then we go into the kitchen, and like, cause after like, uh, after it messed up throwing the holy water, like yeah. stop, and we're just we walk out, and I like, I don't think Imam knew. Maybe he, maybe he thought we did have the remote or something. But I look at Isaac. Isaac fucking knew. Mm-hmm. Neither of us were fucking around. Yeah. And I was like, yo, I think, did that shit really? He's like, nah, it didn't. Forget, <laughs> forget about it. A um, couple of days after, I told Rudy, I was like, oh, I don't know if the guy told you we were in your room real quick. We're just throwing some holy water, bless yeah. it. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, like, you know, thanks for letting me know. Uh-huh. And I asked him, I was like, quick, just out of curiosity, Rudy, to like, are, you, are your lights fucked up? Do they ever work? Because, like, you're, they were, like, flashing weird uh-huh. when we were in there. I don't tell him why. Yeah. And he's like, no, dude, I've never had a problem with that. Like, they've always worked really fine. Yeah. Although I do hear, like, weird shit at night every now and then. Uh, but it might just be because, like, the, I guess the, where he's at, right under it is the basement. And he oh, said it's not super, no. it's, he's like, he's like, it's not super, uh... It's, it's like where, hollow. You, it's like hollow. So you, he's like, he's like, some some areas I can even see down, and sometimes I like trick myself. I think I see something, but it's probably nothing. Fuck, no, he just, probably does see something as fuck. And I'm just like, okay, like, but just to be clear, like, you've never had problems with your lights or whatever. Uh. And he's like, no, dude, like, you know, the, those things are new. I think the like, didn't the landlord put a place them in before we even moved in? And I yeah. was like, fuck, you're right. 
And I was like, all right. He's like, why? I was like, yeah, don't even worry about it. Like, if anything, I'm just going to scare you. Maybe just scare you. Yeah. He's like, he looked at me all weird. He's like, all right. And I'm just like, oh, oh fuck. I don't know. I, I don't want to. I don't know what it was. I can't explain it. I'm just, I'm going to leave it. It's going to be a, like a mental post-it note. Like, yeah. Figure it out later. <laughs> know it. There, there was this weird, weird ass fucking uh, leather chair. It's like leather and wood chair. Did you guys throw it out or you guys put it in it's the basement? In, it's in the basement. Mother of fucking so, God. So I remember like the only thing that was in that fucking house when we moved in. In the a, basement. It, no, no, it was there on the top. It was in the living room. In the living room. The only fucking thing in the living room. May it I was ask? A leather, was a leather fucking chair. Green leather. Green leather, green leather, what and it had wood. It was really nice. It actually looked like a fancy. It looked like one of those fancy chairs. You know what I mean? Those the fair. home, the the person that owns the home that you guys are renting it from. Did yeah. he tell you why it was there? No, she never told us why it was still there. She was just like, it's just there. And it was, so, like, we saw it, and we we're just like, like I, there, like there since like when the house so was first built, or they're just like the previous previous person and previous person and previous just has had it there. And so, oh shit! Yeah. So it's been just the past. I, on... I guess whoever's just lived there has just always seen it there. So I remember when we first moved in, I sat in it and I'm just uh -huh. chilling. I'm just like, this is a weird fucking chair. This is one of those like haunting chairs. Yeah. And I was just kind of laughing. And I was like, I don't want this in the fucking house. Let's, <laughs> let's get it out. Uh -huh. And we're just like, ah, but it's like it's new. It's everything. It's like let's actually let's put it in the basement if we kind of fucked up getting rid of it and I was like yeah next thing I know the fucking ghost dad or whatever is going to be pissed if we throw out his chair yeah so we just put it in the basement it's been there ever since so here's the thing where is it in the basement uh technically the basement would be oh shit now that I think about it maybe is it under border, one of the roommates border borderline under the kitchen my room I want to say oh Cause I was gonna say if it was if it's under your roommate's where he looks down or whatever, All right. and the chair's right there, yeah, I'm gone. The basement's also kind of cut in too. So if this was the house, yeah, if this was the house, this is kind of where we have our shit. The basement, and then over here is the uh, is is the other half of it. Yeah, and we have so the house now is it's kind of divided into three sections. The yeah. whole bottom section. Then the top is divided in half, where there's a couple units in the front half, yeah. and there's a full unit in the back half yeah. of the house. So that half over here, that's where their larger room is. So uh -huh. we actually have ours in the in our unit, yeah. but they have to go downstairs into the basement to get to do their. Is it creepy down there? No, theirs is like way cleaner than ours. <laughs> ours but no, your yours is yours creepy. Our it, ours looks a little weird. It, weirdly enough, so like it only goes half ways. Yeah. The, ba the basement only goes halfway for some reason. I don't know why. They had boarded up the other half. Huh. And, and there looks like there's just dirt or whatever the fuck in this first half yeah. of the base uh, of the basement. It just looks really weird to me. Halfway? Um, this yeah. is weird. Yeah, so it was just boarded up. Cause I'm, and then, weirdly enough, on this side, there's a hole. There's like a hole. You can just look in there. Yeah. Um, and we and looked, it's just dark. And, and look, and it's just dark with like dirt in there. And I'm just like, why is there fucking dirt in this like part of the house? Like, yeah. I have no idea. Um, but I know, like, because uh, we do live downtown, there's, like, a lot of hobos and stuff. I guess once a hobo, like, actually broke through one of the little, you know, like, side windows to the go in your basement or whatever? I guess he actually broke through one of those doors and, sl and slid through uh -huh. and so was sleeping inside that fucking front door. Oh, front you got to be house. careful with that shit. Yeah, so I was just like, oh, shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they, they can base they're basically living there yeah and we found it and someone i guess i think it was a man that saw him there once uh -huh. and uh and he went he went around to try to get into the basement and once he got out once he went down to the basement he saw the guy booking it out the window uh -huh. told the landlord they replaced the window and so that he wouldn't get back in and shit but yeah it was one of those things where just like well someone could need someone could be in there or like you know what the fuck you yeah. see in there but it's it's very weird like it's very weird, dude. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fucking weird if a stranger sleeping in my goddamn basement. Yeah. I don't know about you. If I had a basement, I think I would convert that shit into like another room. Uh, that's actually what we're talking about. When because we're talking. it's like just hearing basement in general and just like 
having your laundry room down there and everything. Nah, I don't fuck with that. I'm gonna have my laundry room on the same fucking level as my place. At least, at least that's the case for us. So I was yeah. just like, I'm chilling. I'm not that. Yeah. That, to, to, do you feel to, like you're reaching your limit at that place, or you're gonna like save up a little bit more money and then like, okay, I can rent out an apartment or? Now, now with things, uh, with how things are right now, I'm more ready to try something different. I'm like getting ready to like move. stay still stay in San Jose. Yeah, still stay over there, but like just move to a different area, something a little bit more quieter. Not, not that place. <laughs> <laughs> newer. <laughs> newer. Uh, safer. Fucking less haunted. Shit like that. Like, yeah. Uh, oh no. Uh, you ever you ever played a game called Fear? No. So that game is basically supernatural Halo. Oh you're, fuck you're, no. So <laughs> that game, I remember it because I played it. Uh, I don't know how I fucking came about it. I think we saw it at like GameStop or some shit. But it was a. Uh, so the whole premise behind that game is there's this girl that got kidnapped. Oh, uh, I know like, what you're talking about. The cover is white and it's a girl como la Llorona, right? It looks like the Llorona. Yeah, okay. But uh -huh. she's uh, telekinetic. And yeah. She can fuck with your head. Yeah. And make you see shit, which in that case, we're, or in those things, were ghosts. Yeah. So you'd see the ghosts and you'd fucking shoot them and shit. And you look like a basic, you basically look like a SWAT team. Yeah. And they're sending you in to just capture her because she's on the loose. And you see, and, she, and it would like switch in. It was really weird because like you'd see the little girl. Yeah. But that's not how she looked like. She was actually like a 20 something or 30. I don't, she's an adult basically. Yeah. So like you'd see her walking towards you and like all this fucked up shit going on around her. Like in Carrie. Yeah. And you'd see the little girl and then like it would flash and it would be the adult. And then yeah. it would flash and be the little girl. And that one was creepy. The old one was creepy because it was. Well, it was like a cool kind of creature yeah. where you're playing it, but you're not necessarily like scared of uh -huh. the game. And I really love that game, but I played the second one when it was, uh, I think it was for the 360. Yeah. It came out, Fear 2. Yeah. That one was creepy. That uh -huh. one was creepy. I played that one at night. That one creeped me out. Because uh -huh. there, was, there, was there was one where you're, like, you're a level where you're like in a school or some shit. Yeah. And you're looking at the hallway, and then you just hear like kids laughing and playing and running down the hallway yeah but there's nobody there and then like a wind goes uh -huh. and although i mean you hear you look at the far end and you see the like the lockers on the end just like pow they just burst open and hit and then you'd hear a you hear a little girl or a little kid like laughing or giggling and then you'd see the more like doom 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 do like they're all opening up and they get towards you uh-huh yeah so like it was it was really good at just being a creepy ass game and I thought it was kind of cool. Back to what we were talking about. So I kind of showed you it, and this was my fault, but I'm gonna show you the full version of it. SLS camera is basically, they found out that with the Kinect, you can see uh, stick figures. Mm -hmm. And that's what they, a lot of uh, paranormal investigators use, kind of ordeal. And uh, how does it work, or like, what does it do? So that it uses these sensors. I, I can't really. So I'm gonna try to give it as best of my knowledge. The the, you know, the same sensors that the, the Connect uses. You you've played with the Connect, right, on the Xbox? I've heard of it. <laughs> you've never fucked like. I've never messed with it now. Okay, so whenever you, if you ever do, but they they fucking discontinued it. Um. Basically, it's a it's a motion sensor kind of thing, and then uh, before you would, if you were on the home page or whatever, it would like line out like these dots, like a stick figure of you, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you'd wave your hand and you'd move the home screen, whatever kind of thing. People found out that if you set a, a setting to it, you could actually point the camera, you know, at your house, and anything that it senses, it can pop up. Like a fucking, if something's not there, it could just pop the fuck up. Mm -hmm. So like Ghost Adventures and all these other uh, paranormal uh, groups found out that you could use that to an advantage. So sometimes you'll see on that episode, you'll see them like carrying this big old fucking thing that, and they're moving it around. They figured out with the, uh, that uh, the connect, you can um, see figures that are not there. And I downloaded the app Oh, you you saw it. I just seen your name right here. What? Yeah. But this is this is what it looks like. 
See how it's just popping up right here? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, go ahead and just click my story. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, I I think I clicked it, but I clicked out of it. I didn't actually, like, see it, see it. Yeah. Where's this? That's in uh, my mom's living room. When did you do this? Today. Now, if you go towards my mom's room, my mom has my grandpa's boots, uh -huh. who passed away, his hat. Yeah, so basically what he saw was... Popped up in my mom's living room, and I said, fuck no, I'm out. So your grandpa's stuff is still there? Right? Yeah, his, his stuff is still there. His boots are in Papa's room. His other pair of boots are in my mom's room, her closet, and so is his favorite hat. And then my mom has his flower that was given to each one of us who uh, carried his casket. So mm -hmm. it's like, we have a lot of stuff that's his that is like, wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Mm -hmm. is, it is, he, is he attached, you know, to some of his items? Could be, could not be. Uh, have you tried doing it with other stuff? What? Oh, with his boots? No, no, with like the camera. With this one, the SLS camera, no, this is the first time I've done it in that house. Um, I did do, um, like, the infrared kind of thing that TikTok came out with, like, a, the heat yeah. movement or whatever. And we were in uh, Papa's room, and his boots started to glow. Nothing else in the closet was glowing but his boots. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I would try doing it on places or things that you know that you haven't seen anything yeah or felt anything you know what uh -huh. I mean? places that are relatively supernatural free yeah and see if it picks anything up okay just as a couple test runs yeah then after that like uh i'm assuming it just it's a motion sensing thing that just detects any type of movement uh -huh. and associates that with, once it so a lot of things like i think like that is it'll sense movement yeah and then once it senses the movement it tries to create a little relationship between all those things and that's how it creates the little stick figure okay. stuff, right? Um, so for one, like I've seen ones where like uh, the face swap thing, right? Yeah. Where like you have it and then- And then I don't know or something. It's something else, it gets it. Yeah. But that the thing is it's not, what it is, it's detecting certain shapes. Yeah. That resemble the face. So that's why like a bottle placed in a certain direction with certain lighting yeah. will look like it has the shape of a face that's why it'll switch it. So yeah. it's more it's more of a thing where you're like placing it against if you're placing it against a wall with like shelves and things in there, I I'm more inclined to believe that all right, it could be something fucking up with how the app is supposed to work or how the app is supposed to function that's making you face swap or yeah. like picking up something like stick figure stuff. But if you're doing it against like a flat wall surface, right? Yeah. Then that's a little different for me because I'm just like, okay, that's a lot. You're basically, you're making it a lot more harder for stuff like that to happen or to be able to happen. You know what I mean? And then same thing with like uh, that stick figure thing. Uh -huh. If you're doing it with like something that's not really haunted or has never shown signs of being haunted or an area that's like that and you picking up stuff there that tells me all right maybe the app's just reading shit that yeah doesn't make sense but if nothing's being picked up exactly how you think it should be and it's reacting how it should be then you go to a thing that this maybe might be something or might have something to it and then it starts picking it up again yeah then you know what I mean? it's you're kind of like slowly getting rid of the doubt and making yeah. more. You're, you're more, trying to debunk it. Trying to debunk it. Yeah. Or, or prove it, basically. Yeah. You know I mean? So uh, I, I would try doing that with, with both of them. Okay. And then go and then go back and see, and then try that again and see if it still kind of picks up the same thing. Uh huh. Okay. So it's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there, and hopefully you guys have a good day on your day. Um, I do want to do one thing with you, and I before we end the podcast because obviously we still have a lot of topics here to talk oh, yeah. about so, so many so many topics that literally we don't ever get through them we, so what we, we do just, which is kind of cool because we just we, we have, have more, more to talk visits, about more, more visits
reasons. More reasons. More reasons to do another part and continue exactly. and continue. So I wanna me and Papa's used to do this don't look away challenge. And basically you watch the scariest videos on YouTube and try not to look away. So this is Ghost Makes Contact by Sarah My127. Okay. So he captures a ghost in his pantry. I filmed the door opening since releasing these videos uh, to make it online community, make many skeptics, whatever. Da, da, da. John from Sacramento messaged me on. Da, 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 da. You guys could go watch it. This is from November 21st, 2007. This is old. Okay, so this guy right here. You can go ahead and look at it. Now just let me know what the fuck you would do if you experienced that. I already saw something. <laughs> Nothing's gonna pop out. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not one of those jump scares. No, 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 no. Okay. Hmm. Is it over? Have you already seen it? Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna say fake. So you feel like you could recreate that? Yeah. Check this out. For for one, okay. Uh, let me wait. I didn't I didn't get to read the beginning part of it where yeah. he talks about it. For one, the ghost. I don't know. A lot of shit. So, well, then again, a lot of ghost things that you'll see on TV or mm. whatever, they're like, they look whitely or otherworldly. Some have said that they see ghosts, uh, fully fledged figures. Yeah. Uh, certain things. That just looks like a person on the other end of that fucking thing. Yeah. So, another one thing would be that you could use as a. Playing devil's advocate, you'd be like, mm -hmm. well, how can someone fit in there like that? Because that pantry looked pretty small. There's no way a person's going to be able to look like it's in there. Oh, you changed the video? <laughs> yeah. Dang, okay. So, if you rewind, rewind and watch the video from when the ghost shows up to where it doesn't, I don't know if it's just me, because uh -huh. like I said, it's 2007, so the video looked yeah. very shaky, very... I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> but to, I, I, but to I get, me, uh -huh. it looked like the fucking uh, the ghost shows up, and it looks like there's coloration around the hands. Yeah. Like either it's heat or fog or something. If someone's breathing against that, uh. it looks like that, right? Yeah. But then you notice when it said when it goes away, instead of pushing off, it goes away. Uh -huh. The surrounding color on there it turns black. Uh -huh. Like a photo edit, basically. Yeah. So that's what it looks like to me. Okay. Like it looks like a photo edit, and it looks very weird. That, as weird as it sounds, why would the ghost just fucking press its face up against there, just because you're there to watch it? Yeah. You know what I mean? It seems very. For one, it seems very staged. For two, the camera work on that thing looked photoshopped to me. Uh huh. Just looking at different specific little things on it. I get what you. I get where you're coming from, and. And you're doing what you do best, and you're trying to debunk it. You're trying to throw different fucking theories out there. Okay, could have been this, could have been that. Yeah. I feel like what we could do with the show is every time we have you on, I think I'm going to put you in a challenge where don't look away and see if you can come up with a solution. Can you debunk it or you can't debunk it? Yeah. That eh, sounds like fun. <laughs> I, okay. I, uh, I think I've told you about this. I'm about to tell you about the little rose, right? When this is Marty's rose. Yes. And I want you yes, to, that it started bleeding or something like that. I want you to try to think about it and see if you can come up with a with an answer for me for our next uh, for our next one next uh, episode. Fuck, we haven't talked about it since the first episode. Did we? Yeah. We that you about said it in the first you episode? said that she had it and it was like upside down or something or whatever and it started yeah. bleeding and uh, I forgot who gave it to her but you someone told she, her to get rid of it. I guess someone I told her to get rid of it. And she yeah. really liked it and it's and it's. 
linked, didn't they pass it's, away? It's linked. I, I don't know. I don't remember exactly. I just know that she had it. She mm. she didn't want to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And eventually she had it pinned on her wall up. Yeah. And then eventually it just fell over. Yeah. And it was associated with Jorge. Every yeah. time Jorge gets a seizure. It would bleed. Rose, yes. The rose bleeds along its stem. Yeah. Uh, it was very viscous, very non blood looking. Yeah. It almost looked like magenta pink nail polish. Yeah. It almost looked like that. Uh, but basically what it was is, or like what I remember is, if he gets a seizure, it starts just oozing out this material from the stem of it, and it starts falling down the, the rose. Because no, I looked at it, yeah. and I picked it up, and I asked her, I was like, hey, what's this stuff here? And she told me, oh, yeah, uh -huh. you know, it's it's my rose. It's my, like, lucky rose. My lucky rose or something. Ain't like, nothing lucky oh. about this, man. But she said uh, it bleeds every now and then. I was like, well, that's weird. Why would it bleed? And she's like, oh, I don't know, but like, you when baby gets seizures or whatever, like it just starts doing that. Yeah. And I was like, like every time, she's like, well, I don't, I've never paid attention to yeah. him, obviously, because I got to check him out, yeah. make sure he's safe. But like when he's going through his thing, yeah. like I've noticed every now and then it's bleeding. And I remember holding it up, looking at it, and just inspecting it. Mind you, it's dry at this point, and I'm just like yeah. touching it, like I hope it's not toxic or yeah. anything. But I'm just like, it's tough on there, but it looks just like nail polish yeah or it looks like paint dried off paint and as i'm like in my peripheral i'm like holding it up and i'm looking right at right the petals over. i never we never talked about the petals the petals how long did it look like she had that flower oh, that shit was dried that shit was dried so it was like brown yeah quasi like yeah yeah oh. and, I, and i only know this because um when i graduated high school or my last year of high school i played football in high school yeah they give you for your last senior game uh, last home game, they give you the little roses and shit yeah. through your ceremony. So I still have my rose. So I know uh, what a, you know. Yeah, the dead flower. Shit, so yeah. They have it in their little, like, china pantry thing right yeah. there. So I'm looking at it, and I'm just like, okay, well, this shit's obviously pretty mm. cool. The thing that I was thinking about is the location of the, against the wall that she had it on was very close to a swamp cooler. So it could have been any follicles coming from that swamp cooler on here because it's water going in that shit. Yeah. But then I'm just like, it's almost directly next to it, to where it can't... If it was under it, for me, that's an instant shit's falling on top of it. Yeah, and the petals would have fell off also. Yeah, so if it's next to it, it's more just the humidity from being in that room or whatever, kind of getting close to that. Yeah. But then I'm like, what, what, this is before I saw actually anything happening to it, but I was like, what would make it bleed every now and then or just uh -huh. randomly? Like, unless it's some kind of fungus or bacteria, but if that's the case, however long she's had it, that would cause health concerns or some shit, right? Yeah. You would think. And she's like, no, I've had it and we've never had weird things to it. It just bleeds every now and then. Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, well, uh, bleeds, I won't say bleeds, but I'll say oozes material. Yeah. So I'm just like, so I'm looking at it, just kind of thinking in my head, like, what the fuck could it yeah. be? And as I'm holding it up, I kind of just see in that peripheral, see Jorge, and he starts doing, like, he's looking forward, he's, like, chilling, and he starts doing this. And he looks at the flower? And he, like, starts turning his head. But yeah. If, if you know, if... Oh, uh, yeah, if I've you seen know, him. Like, that's one of his telltale signs. So yeah. So what it is, is he'll just start looking right, and he'll get super serious or super quiet, and he starts looking, and that's a sign that he's started he's starting to get a seizure yeah and then if you look that instantly my cousins already in my ad they already know to look at his head if he's turning looking like this and he hasn't moved for a couple seconds just they already know he's getting a seizure but you can also look at his hands as soon as he's doing this his hands will go and tighten up and they'll start going like this yeah right so he's like getting it like so he's he's going like this and he'll literally be in it and they have to go kind of it's almost like they're trying to calm him down, but it's yeah. more like just helping him ride it through. Yeah. So he'll get it, and then like all of a sudden he'll just get loose. Yeah. And then just fall asleep. Uh huh. So I'm holding the rose. As I'm holding it. Actually, it looks like this. So I'm holding it in my hand as I'm like looking right at him, and I kid you not, this shit starts coming out. Uh huh. And I'm just like, <laughs> what the fuck? And I'm looking at the rose, but I can look up, just look straight ahead. And I see him getting his seizure and the shit's just coming out. And I literally tap it on my finger and I move it. Uh -huh. And I'm like, I was creeped out. I was creeped out, but I'm still just kind of trying to explain it. Like, yeah, it's not blood. It's still that 
weirdly pink. But it's magenta, still one of those things pink, that you couldn't explain. Pink magenta shit. Yeah. So it can't be blood, or whatever it is. It's not blood uh-huh. in my eyes, but it's something, and it's something linked to what just happened in front of me right now. I hope they didn't give her like a cursed flower or something. I, I don't know. So I was just like, I can't. I don't understand what it is, and I was kind of stuck. So I mm-hmm. go to my mom like. What is this? Uh-huh. And then she's like, what, what do you mean? I was like, and I gave her the quick rundown. Uh-huh. Marty says it's cursed. Or not cursed. Marty says it's linked to baby. If he gets a seizure, it bleeds. It's oozing something now, and I can't explain it. What do you think? Uh-huh. And she touches it, and she looks at it, and she's like, I got nothing. I don't know what it could be. Uh-huh. Um, so I told her, I gave it back to my I was just like, burn it, throw it away. Uh-huh. And uh, she's just like, throw it away. And I was like, no, burn it, throw it away. And she's like, why burn it? And I was like, I don't know. I just seen it on TV or whatever. You gotta, yeah. I was watching the wish or whatever. I, like, I hope fire, I hope, fire will cleanse it. I hope. Get rid of it I hope whatever way. they from where they're from in Zacatecas. I hope they didn't bring something. Something with them because it feels like each one of them has their own individual story. Yeah. Like a quick, a quick little rundown, quick two seconds. Rosy, the Rosy story that Papa's told me. He said there was four ladies four old ladies oh yeah actually i heard it on, the, on last episode. the four old ladies and then yes, that yes, that yes. rosy was with her friends at night one of them trying to swoop or yeah and she just right? they the cop shined its light and then the next day had bandages as if she got burned and it's like like i'm getting chills now and it's like mm-hmm. what the fuck mm-hmm. and could it be you know who knows <laughs>